Modern smartphones have only gotten better in terms of battery life. However, the balance between size, performance and maximizing the battery life is very complicated. These days, many smartphone users, especially gamers, never seem to be happy with the battery life in their smartphones. But Ukitel finally did something about it. Ukitel WP19 is the world's first smartphone with a giant 21,000 mAh battery packed with octa-core Helio G95 chipset with two powerful ARM Cortex-A76 processor cores overclocked up to 2.05 GHz and six Cortex-A55 efficiency focused processors and 8GB RAM plus 256GB of storage. This phone may be a good option not just for adventurers, scuba divers or people working in the construction department, it might also satisfy demanding gamers. In today's video, we're going to be focused on the graphic performance of the WP19. If you're looking for a comprehensive review of this phone, look up for my in-depth review of the WP19 on our channel. But first, I'll show you how this new giant phone can cope with some of the most demanding game titles you could play on Android devices and mobiles in 2022. Games you need a top-of-the-range phone to see the best of their graphics. And games that will rinse the batteries of any other phone, but not the battery of Ukitel WP19. Welcome back, this is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. Modern smartphones have come a long way in terms of their technological capabilities. There are lots of fantastic games being released for Android, tablets and mobiles, well worth checking out, but many of these games are hungry for graphic and processing power. Here you got one of the most popular, Call of Duty Mobile. COD series doesn't need an introduction. It's been a staple of gaming for many years now and in 2019 Call of Duty Mobile was released on handheld devices. Within a year it had about 270 million downloads and the game picked up the awards for the best mobile game at both the BAFTAS and Game Awards. As you can see I have changed the graphic options to the highest. To fully enjoy the highest graphic performance, you normally need one of the latest powerful phones, but as you can see, the WP19 does a pretty good job. Occasionally it might be a bit choppy at around 60 FPS. Enemy contact. Enemy down. There's no lags, no crashes, all goes smooth at around 60 FPS. If you're lucky enough to have more powerful phone, more powerful phone, then you can expect this game to run up to 120 FPS. Target down. I've been tweaking the quality of the graphics to try and up the FPS ratio up to 90 to see if this would impact the ability to see and shoot the enemy. As you noticed, the very video has been made exactly in the same aspect ratio and the resolution as the screen of the WP19, which is 2460 by 1080 pixels and 60 FPS, just to show you a true representation of what I could see on the display of my WP19. Right, another first person shooter game that will test the WP19 phone to the limits is Shadow Gun Legends. Legends runs at 60 FPS, but there are many reports of phones running very hot if you combine that with the highest graphics settings. If you want both the FPS and the graphics, you'll need a very powerful device indeed. So I'll change the graphic level to ultra high and the FPS to 60. We'll see what happens. By the way, Shadowgun Legends is the third installment in the Shadowgun trilogy. Each of the games has been award winning and it's not hard to see why once you've checked out these graphics on a high-end mobile device. I can tell the phone getting significantly warmer, but it's all fine, it's not super hot. Again, the graphics is pretty smooth here. 
No issues so far, no ugly dithering, no crashes, all smooth, all good. Right, the third title I'd like to test on WP19 is Asphalt 9 Legends. Again, let's change the settings to the highest available and let's see how it would affect the gameplay. The Asphalt series has always pushed the graphical capacity on mobile devices as far as they could, and the most recent game, 9, is no exception. Certainly, with the HDR graphics and up to 60fps, this is one of the best looking racing games on the mobile. There's a plenty of content as well, with over 50 different cars and 800 different events, as well as career and multiplayer modes, and it's really addictive. Along with regular seasonal updates and additions, the game should keep you busy while you enjoy those pretty graphics. Fighting games are not always associated with mobiles, but if you're going to play one, this is probably one of the best looking ones, Shadow 5 3. It's not just a fighting game, it's also an RPG. The main character has customizable visuals and weapons, and you unlock more equipment and skills as you progress the story. I only just started, just to check if my WP19 goes well with this game. The Shadow 5 3, with over 3 million reviews on the Play Store, gives the game an average rating of 4.3 stars, with many people who actually praise the graphics and animations. With visuals up to 2K, which is 1440 pixels, and up to 60 FPS, it's certainly easy on the eye. As you can see, the game also runs fine on my WP19 with a resolution of 2160 by 1080 pixels. As you see, the WP19 has the specifications that are mainstream at the moment. It will allow to play the recent games in a reasonable quality and FPS rate, but one thing is for sure, you got no chance to run out of juice with this gigantic battery. This is something no other recent phone in the world has at the moment. It's basically a massive power bank glued to the phone. Thanks to Ukitel, I've recently had a chance to use and abuse this beast of a smartphone a few weeks before its official release, so you can watch my comprehensive in-depth review video on this channel. There's a link at the end of this video, also link in the video description. The WP19 is available to buy at AliExpress from 13th of June 2022, and there's a link in the video description. As soon as it will be available on Amazon Worldwide, I will update the links, so stay tuned. Okay guys, if you enjoyed our video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you won't miss when the next video comes out. I'll see you next week, that was Adam, and you watched Family Pop TV YouTube channel.